Hello friends, welcome back to Digitalk. So in this session, I am going to explain you how we can create a user in OID. Okay, so OID is Oracle Internet Directory. It is a directory server. And what is a directory server which is used for storing the usernames, password and some other uh, information that is related with the user. For example, the telephone number of user, address of user, uh, his department, okay, his designation. So there are multiple profile data that is associated with the user that we can store along with the username and password in the OID. Okay, so now why we need the OID? Because in each and every software, we have a native authentication, right? So the need of that in an enterprise world where we have a, 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 a uncountable number of users, maybe in thousands or in lakh or more than that, Okay, at that time, it is not feasible to have uh, used a native authentication uh, mechanism of a particular software, right? So in that case, and also in that case, uh, apart from that, if you would like to have a centralized management of the identities, the user information, okay, because you may have uh, multiple applications and it's not possible to have a scattered number of user and password across in each and every application. So what we can do, we have a OID in place. We store all the username and password in the OID. And then we set up a centralized mechanism of authentication across all of the softwares and the applications. So instead of a scattered username and password across the multiple machines, we can have a centralized system. Okay, so that makes the management also easy and it, it reduces your cost as well. Right, so that means in OID, we have a multiple uh, other directory server as well in the market. So OID is a uh, directory server which is from the Oracle, okay, which is used for the management of the user password and the profile data. Okay. So if you have some sort of knowledge of WebLogic or maybe some other application servers or any applications, then we integrate uh, that particular software with the OID for the authentication and for management of end-to-end -end users and password and the profile data, right? So for that, uh, we have to create the users directly in the OID, okay? So now how to create a user in the OID, okay? So for that, we are going to launch a course in the identity management and specifically your OID, which will be launched shortly in next couple of days or a week of time. Okay. But before that, I have got a lot of queries from the different engineers that they are confused how to create a user in the OID. So to create a user, you have to be get some clarity on some basic concepts. Okay. And once you have the clarity on that concept, then you can able to create the user in the OID without any problem. Okay, so now there are two ways when we go for the creation of the users in the OID. One is you can create with the help of command line utility. Okay, and for that you have the LDAP modify command which is bundled with the OID. With the help of this command you can create a user. I will tell you by execution as well how to create that user, what are the input that we provide in the file. Along with that you can create it from the ODSM console as well. Okay, so ODSM console is a, a front end or a web tool that is deployed in your admin server when we configure the OID. So instead of doing the activities with the help of command line utilities, you can do it from the ODSM console as well, from the web console. Okay, so it depends on the on the on your expertise, okay, and the requirement. Either you can go with the help of command line or either you can go with the ODSM console from you can create as well. I will show you both of the options, how you can utilize. So first, let me explain you a few basic concepts that you should have to understand before you go to create the user. So the few basic terms when we deal with the OID, uh, the first thing that you will see, which is the DN. Okay, so DN is called the distinguished name. Okay, this is the main entry which is used to identify a user in the OID. So what happens is that when we store the username and password in the OID, okay, that, that username get stored in a hierarchical format. Okay, for example, if you have a organization where you have a multiple office across the different states in a particular country, okay, and then you have a different offices there depend on the different cities and then you have a different departments and then you have a different user inside the particular department right so if to identify a user or if you would like to save the details of a particular user in the oid so what happens is that uh, we create the multiple entries in the oid for example we can create an entry uh, for the uh, state for example bangalore or maybe in the karnataka okay so so now if i am saying that you have an employee which is in the bangalore and then you have a it is in a some different location Okay, and then we can specify the name of the location. And then inside the location, you may have a address of your office. And then you will have a department, for example, IT or development. And inside that you will have an employee. And then we have a name for the employee. Okay, that means to identify an employee. Okay, we need the complete hierarchy to understand where exactly it is working on which city or state or the uh, country uh, that particular engineer is working. Okay, what is his department? And then we can identify a particular employee. 
right? So this is how we store the information in the OID. So DN is make the complete entry of a user, how the information is stored in your directory. Okay, so that means this is the complete, you can say this is the username for uh, of an engineer that we create in the OID for the identification. Okay, and along with that, you will see uh, another uh, term that is called the CN, which is called the common name. Okay, and so this will be the name of an employee, which is referred as a common name. So for DN, what I said, it is the complete identification of a user. That means this will include the multiple things. Okay, and let me show you what exactly it is. So this DN, which is forming the complete URL of a or, or the DN, or you can say the complete username of a particular user. Okay, so this is include multiple things. Okay, the first thing it could be your CN. Okay, so what exactly is CN? CN is a common name. So this is the actual name of a user that you would like to give. Okay, and then you have a domain component. So domain component is referred to DC. Okay, and this domain component we create during the installation of the OID. Okay, this define a structure or a realm inside the root folder of your OID how your data of the user data or the group information is going to be stored in the OID. Okay. For example, if my organization name is digitalk.com. Okay. So during the uh, creation of the uh, instance or during the installation of the OID, what I can give, I can give a domain name as domain component name as digitalk and then comma and dc equal to com. Right. So this is the way we specify the complete domain name. Okay. Or the domain component. And your entry is created in this particular way. I will show you this on the ODSM console as well. Okay, just keep in mind that what I'm saying as of now. And apart from that, there are multiple things specific to a user. For example, you will see the SN, which is called the surname. Okay, and let me show you. So this is the PPT that is a part of our uh, IDM session or the course that we are going to release in Udemy shortly. Okay, so there are multiple components that you have to understand when you talk about the different attributes of a user. So these are called the different attributes. CN is a common name, DC is a component name, SN is a surname, owner, organization, unit, organization, telephone number. So these are the specific attribute which is used to store the information of a user in the OID. Right. So now when we talk about the creation of a user, and as I said, DN is the complete username which is used to identify a user and which we use to log into the OID. Okay, so if you would like to create that user with the help of command line. Okay, so before that, let me log into ODSM console and let me show you the address that I am talking about. Okay, so let me log in to my ODSM console, localhost, and then, okay, so this is the, so this is the ODSM console. So I will log in to one of the OID instance that I have created. I am logging to OID1. This is a username and password, which is already saved there. So let me click on connect. So now I am connected to the ODSM console of my OID. So here you have to go to the data browser. So in the inside the data browser, you will see a root folder. Inside the root, you will have a multiple sub entries. Okay, multiple sub realms. Okay, and most of them are the default ones. Right. And what I was talking about when we create the uh, or we install the OID, we have to specify a real app, specifically when we create the instance of an OID, right? So in my case, as I said here, my organization is digitalk.com. So I have given the DC as digitalk, comma DCS.com, right? So how the entry created in my this directory server, you can see here, there is a, a folder called DC.com and DC equal to digitalk. Okay, and one you have to make thing, it is created in the reverse order. Okay, that means the first that I have specified will be at the bottom here. So DC equal to digitalk.com. So com will be the topmost hierarchy here. Right? It is the reverse order. So DC equal to com, DC equal to digitalk. And if I click on this digitalk, then you will see the different uh, folders here. Okay, you can see the sub entries here, calendar server, groups, Oracle context, and users. So these are the default that is created. So when we create the users, so by default, we create inside it CN equal to users. And if you create any of the particular group, then we create it inside the CN equal to groups. So if I expand the CN equal to users, let me expand it. So here you can see that we have a three different users. So this is the default user. And ORCL admin is the default admin user that is created when we install the OID. Apart from that, I have a user called Digitalk. Okay. And if I click on a particular user, then on the right hand side, we can see the multiple uh, details that is specific to a particular user. 
right? Contact information, basic user information, and then you can click on the attribute as well. What are the different attributes that is associated with this particular user? Okay, so this attribute, as I said, there are multiple information that are associated with a particular uh, employee. So that all information is stored in the form of attributes. And for each attribute, we have a specific term that is defined in the OID. For example, if I talk about the password of a user, then it is stored in the user password attribute. Okay, if I say about the mail, then it is stored in the mail. Similarly, you have a description, you have a given name, and then you have a lot of more that we have discussed here as well. Right, so this is how your uh, main entry or the real M get created when we install the OID and which is derived from here, domain component name. Right, so now if suppose that I am going to create a user here inside the users. Right, so how I am, how I am going to identify the user? So if I click on it, suppose I have a user called Digitalk. Right, so here you can see that DN is, how the DN is formed here. CN equal to Digitalk because the username is Digitalk. So the CN equal to Digitalk is the username. Then how the user is going to be identified in the real realm that I have created, which is the digitalk.com. So next one is the CN equal to user. So this is completely in the reverse order. The first entity is the CN equal to username. Second, it is inside the CN equal to users, right? And on top of that, this CN equal to users is inside the DC equal to digital. And this DC equal to digital is inside the DC equal to com. And this is how uh, the, the complete distinguished name or a user name is defined in the OID. Now you can see here, CN equal to Digitalk. This is my Digitalk. This is inside CN equal to users. And this CN equal to users is inside DC equal to Digitalk. And this DC equal to Digitalk is inside the DC equal to com. So this is how we formed a user and how we identify a user in the OID. So similarly, you can have a multiple users. You can have a multiple uh, sub entries inside your DC equal to com or there could be a multiple inside CN, CN equal to users. Okay, and based on that, you can identify a particular user in the OID. So that means if I am going to create a user with the help of command line, so I have to first specify the complete DN for my user, which I'm going to create, right? So to create a complete DN, first I have to know that what is my complete domain component. So which you can get it from here, it's called to DC equal to Digitalk, right? And inside that you will have a folder CN equal to users. Right. So that means this I have to specify. And here I have to give a name of my user. Suppose it is a demo user. So this forms the complete DN of my user. Now, apart from that, the change type, what I'm going to do change type, I'm going to add a user. I'm not going to do any other operation. So if you're going for a modification, then here the entry will be modified. So I'm going to create a new user. So here I'm adding the add. Apart from that, you have to add, these are the default configuration. There, these, are the, these are the certain attributes or you can see the different object classes. So object classes is nothing but is a group of attributes. So these are the different attributes that we are going to add. And this has to be there by default for each and every user. So let me show you here. If I click on the Digitalk user, which is there currently, and if I click on the attributes, so here you can see that inside the object class, you have a different attributes, right? So these are the attributes that belong to a particular user. So when I'm when we are going to create a user, so you have to define certain mandatory attributes that should belong to a user. So that is called top person, organizational person, and inet org person. These are the default object classes that you have to make sure there when you are going to create a user. Then you can specify a UID. That user in 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 the OID is identified by the UID. Then you can give a name, okay, with the help of given name. SN equal to the surname, CN equal to the common name. This is the common name that we have given here, right? And then you can specify the mail and then you can give a password for the user. So these are the important entries that you have to specify in an LD file. So when we uh, execute the instructions, okay, in the OID, which we are going to configure with the help of command line. So what we do, basically we do the entry in a dot LD file. Okay, once the entry is done, that we execute with the help of LDAP modify command. And what the parameter that we specify with LDAP modify is hyphen H, which is the host on which your OID is running. The port of your OID, this is the by default non-SSL port of OID. Hyphen D and with the hyphen D, we have to specify the username. So this is basically admin username whenever we go for this kind of operation, addition, deletion of users, right? So this user is created by default when we install the OID, which is CN equal to ORC, let's say. Okay, and, and then we specify the password of this particular user with the help of hyphen W. 
and with the hyphen f file we specify the name of file in which we have written the complete entry for creation of the user so this is a net net way when we create the user with the help of file so you have to create this particular file how to create this file what are the different entries that i have explained to you right and then you can run this command and then the user will get created other option is you can create it from the console as well so this is my odsm console the easiest way if you would like to go from the console so the two options first if you go to the data tree you have to create a new entry okay and create a new entry like this one so suppose that i would like to create a user based on some of the existing user for example i have a orcl admin i am going to create a new user so either you can click on this create a new entry like this one or either you can right click on this one and then create select the option create like so here the first screen will show you the object classes right so these are the different important object classes as i have shown to you this will be selected by default and it it has to be associated with each and every user when you are going to create a user now parent of the entry where exactly you want this user so we are going to create it inside the users and this users is inside the digitalk and this digitalk is inside the com so i have selected this particular parent entry if you would like to have the different parent entry you may have a different multiple parent entries here so you can select you can click on browse okay and then you can select your parent entry from here under which you would like to create the user okay so i am going to the default inside the same user so this is the first screen click on next so here we have to specify the common name okay this is cn for the user so let me give the demo user okay and we have to give a surname as well so let me give the same same okay now here you have to set the relative distinguished name so for that you have to set the cn okay this is a dis distinguished name how we are complete end to end identity of a user going to be created inside your oid right so based on this cn and based on this value that you have selected here cn it will set the distinguished name which will be cn equal to demo user cn equal to user dc equal to data dot com so click on next so here you have a different parameters or the different attributes if you would like to specify for example let me specify a password i have given the password for the user and you want to change the account name uid mail id given name description you can change it here once it is done you can click on next okay now it is showing that this is the new entry that has been created successfully click on finish and now here you can see that we have a user created with the name of demo user so cn equal to demo user so how am now i am going to specify this particular user in this particular uh, oid is the same just we have seen for the digitalk or for the orc let me this is the complete url that we are going to use when we are going to identify this particular user okay where c input to demo user that we have created and it is inside the users digitalk and dot com so let me copy this one and let me show you so let me uh, log out from this particular master user and let me try to log in again so for that i will create a new connection okay let me give it a name demo user it is running on a local host 3060 is my port okay so here i will give the complete dn of the user because i am going to connect now with the demo user which i have created so i have to give the complete distinguished name here and here i have to give the password which i have specified during the creation of this particular user so now you can see that i can able to log in with the demo user so here you can see oid is connected right and the connected username is demo user right so this is how we create a user from the ods ml soul and how we can connect it now suppose that if you would like to uh, create the user with the help of command line so i will create the same user from the command line as well so what i will do first i will delete this user to so delete this user right you can right click on this user and click on delete okay and then click yes okay so it is showing insufficient because i am trying to delete with the same user which i used for login and it doesn't have the admin privileges so i have to go back to the admin user and then i will go to data browser com digitalk cn equal to users and this is the user that i am going to delete and then delete okay and now you can see that user is deleted so you can see how the user we can delete now what i am going to i am going to create the user with the help of command line so for that i am going to create a file add user.ld okay so let me give it a name okay so we can do lot of operations with the help of this ldf modify command okay so these are the different uh, uh, command that is part of this particular resource document which you can download once the course is released okay on the udemy so this is the part of your uh, one of the course which is specifically for the oid commands 
and there I am going to explain you all of the commands. Okay, how to execute all the multiple commands with respect to YD, including the WLST. Okay, so here specifically I am going to show you how to create a user. So what I will do, I will create a file. So let me go to the bin location. Okay, this is the main bin location. Okay, inside your uh, OID middleware home and LDAP directory, which contain all of the commands. Right. So here I am going to create a new document. Okay, so what I will do in this particular file, I will copy all these entries. So, okay, so I have already explained you what's the meaning of all these entries. So let me save it. After save, what I will do, this is a text file. So I will have to rename it. I will rename the .txt. Now this is adduser.ld file. Right. So this is file. Now I will go inside the same directory because my file is there only. Right. And then I will run the command this one, which I have explained to you. And let me hit the enter. You can see adding new entry. And now if I go to my console here and let me log out and log in again. And let me go to data browser com digital users. Now you can see that demo user is created. And here are the different attributes of the users. Okay. And if you would like to do add any of the attributes for a user. So these are the mandatory attributes. And apart from that, you will have some optional attributes. So if you would like to add any of the attribute of a user, then you can click on this particular option, which is optional attributes. And from here, you can select the different options for the user. For example, you have a telephone number, okay, description, title. So uh, there are a lot of different uh, attributes which you can select from here and you can move with the help of this one and then you can add. Right. So this is the way how we can create a user in the OID with the help of command line and with the help of ODSM. And what is the meaning of DN, CN and other uh, how we identify an entry specifically on the ODSM with the help of this complete directory tree or the real app. Thank you.